how to add or remove clients in OpenVPN. If you haven't already watched my previous video on how to set up your own VPN with OpenVPN and Vulture, then I recommend you do so. I'll put the link in the video description below and in a card on the top right hand corner of this video. So you've just set up your OpenVPN server, added yourself as a client, and now your friend or family member wants to use your OpenVPN too. So to add them as a client, all you need to do is run the Angristan OpenVPN install script one more time. To do this, simply open up your browser, navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash github.com slash angristan slash openvpn dash install. Once you're here, scroll down to where it says usage, and then you want to find the third command, which is the command to run the OpenVPN install script. So I'm just going to copy this third command here, and I'm going to simply open up our SSH client here, which for me is putty. I'm already logged into our server via SSH after recently just completing an install of OpenVPN onto our server. And all you need to do now is simply right click here to paste in the run script command, and then simply hit enter. Once you have done that, guys, because you have already installed OpenVPN onto your server, it will not reinstall OpenVPN, but instead the script will ask you a couple of new questions here. So the first thing it says, it looks like OpenVPN is already installed. What do you want to do? Add a new user, revoke existing user, remove OpenVPN, or exit. What we want to do here is add a new user. So all we're going to be typing is one for add a new user. So I'm just going to type one and then hit enter. So it says, tell me a name for the client. The name must consist of alphanumeric characters. It may also include an underscore or a dash. So for the client name, we're just going to go with a generic name of John here, and then I'm going to hit enter. The next thing it says, do you want to protect the configuration file with a password? Add a passwordless client use a password for the client. I think if John was a real client, he might find it annoying that he has to enter in a password every time he wants to connect to his OpenVPN server. Therefore, I'm going to go with a passwordless client. So I'm going to keep it as one and then hit enter. All right, guys, as you can see, it says client John added. The configuration file has been written to root slash John OVPN. Download the OVPN file and import it in your OpenVPN client. So again, guys, we're going to need to connect via an SFTP client. The client that I'm going to be using today is called WinSCP. So I'm just going to minimize out of my putty terminal window here, and I'm going to minimize my browser here. Now I'm already logged into my server via WinSCP. So I'm just going to simply open up WinSCP again here. Of course, on your left-hand side is what you can see on your desktop here, on your local device, and on the right-hand side here is what you can see on our OpenVPN server. Because I'm already logged in and haven't refreshed in a while here, you cannot see the john.ovpn file here, but to be able to see it in our root directory here, all I'm going to do is left-click on refresh here, and as you can see, once we've hit the refresh button, you can see that john.ovpn is visible. All we need to do now is download john.ovpn onto our desktop. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to simply restore down here and I'm going to simply find john.ovpn, left click on it, and then simply drag it onto our desktop here. I'm going to minimize WinSCP now. And as you can see, guys, here is the john.ovpn file here. All we need to do now is give our client, which for this video's demonstration is called John, his personal .ovpn file here. So you can give it to John via email, via online cloud storage, offline via USB stick, whatever method works for you. Let's pretend I'm John and I've just received my .ovpn file here. All I need to do is make sure I have installed OpenVPN Connect here and then simply double click on it to open. All John needs to do is navigate to the bottom right hand corner here and left click on the plus symbol here to be taken to the import profile page. He has the option to import via a URL or a file. We have given him a file, so he needs to left click on file here. He then needs to drag and drop to upload his OVPN profile. So all John needs to do is find the john.ovpn file here, left click on it, and then drag and drop into the import profile section of OpenVPN Connect. Once John has done that, his profile will be successfully imported and all he needs to do is left click on add here. Once done, John should see his profile called John with the IP address of the server which was set up for him. And to connect, all he needs to do is toggle the button opposite the OpenVPN profile here. So I'm just going to left click on it here and John will be connected to OpenVPN. And his IP is now masked and he is protected. All right, guys, that pretty much summarizes how to add an additional client 
onto your OpenVPN server. If you wanted to remove a client from your OpenVPN server, all you need to do is rerun the OpenVPN dash script from Angristan one more time, and you'll need to select revoke existing user, which will be option number two. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to add or remove clients in OpenVPN. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.